Listen. Sometimes, you know, there are two things that God work. Two things. Sit down, I'll tell you. And this thing, let it be something that's sick in your heart when you're going to pray this prayer. God normally uses two things. He loves to go to the rejection. To the rejection. It might be you are rejected. You are rejected. God will, God will love a person like you. He says, oh, he's rejected. Many people that God is using mightily, they rejected. Rejected. Number two, they delay. They delayed. Sometimes God will use this a delay so that the people around you, you, you will be able to identify them. You understand? Sometimes you find you're a rejected child. The reject, especially rejected children. God love them. You love to use them. When they grow up, oh, grow up, grow up, they fix a lot. Say, I want to do something with this one. They reject it. And they delay. When the delay comes, you find those who love to celebrate people running away. You're left with those who are depressed. And when you're with them here, now, God is dealing with you. He's dealing with your pride. He's dealing with your hearing. He's dealing with your destiny. So all these two things are working together to all of you. Many of you here is delay. Many of you are facing rejection. So those two things, don't even pray about them. You just thank God. You just thank God about that. I, I want to do this, but there's a rejection. Ah, there's a delay. Why? I want to do this. There's a delay. Why? You know, Charis, this church, Charis, three years and a half after I started, ah, there was no man. I just remember there was an old lady. This old lady was always there. The offering was less than 10 rand. You see people, you see people giving offering of coins, packing it nicely with this. <laughs> <laughs> Praying, fasting, not working. Doing everything. A person just come with <laughs> Yeah. One person. Three years. One person tithing, 50 rand. If that person is not there in the church, sure, I'll be saying, God, bring that person now before. <laughs> delay. So this delay, sometimes it works for you for good. Amen. It works for you. Amen. But that delay... I'll tell you why it works for you, number one. It works to strengthen your spirit. Amen. You understand? Amen. So that the spirits around you won't approach you. Amen. You see, Satan is turning around Christian like this. Eh? So delay, God will use it so that when you are praying, pray, pray. When you sit here, you sit here, Everybody here began to feel God's presence. Therefore, you, when you've passed the delay, what will happen is you clear the air. I don't know if you're hearing me. Delay works to expand your spirit. Amen. And uh, I'm looking at your heart. Eh? I'm talking. I'm looking at your heart. There's a delay. Amen. And there's a rejection. Amen. Huh? Amen. Is it true? Amen. 
delay is, is, one, is one of the powerful costs in the University of God. It's one of the powerful ones. It must lead you to where you believe God without asking anything from someone. I'm asking for sugar. I'm asking for bread. I don't have this. Delay will teach you not to ask anything from anyone. And in that delay, whatever you want to get, you must struggle to get it. When you begin to see that you have to work for this to get it, this, that, that, know that it's a delay. And in that thing, sometimes you need to withdraw. You stay in the word and pray. Stay in the word and pray. And trust God more. Because it's not, for, it's not the time of getting anything. Amen. Let me give you an example by Gehaz. You remember Gehaz? Yes. Eh? You remember Gehaz? When Gehaz sees that the man of God was delayed, he said, ah, Naaman was healed. And the man of God said, it's not taking anything. When are we going to have money? He went on the other side. And the Bible said, the spirit of the prophet moved with him there. In other words, this man, you know, he was already having one portion of the spirit from Elisha. Therefore, he was entitled to receive a double portion. So the spirit of Elisha followed him there. Think about when you are followed by a spirit, you are not alone. And that spirit sometimes must speak with you. That's why sometimes God can use a voice of the servant of God in your dream. And he says, when he reached there, that man took the talents and hide them somewhere and come and stand before Elisha. Elisha says, where were you? Ah, John, 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 I'm sure Elisha spoke in Shanghai, said, with the relation. <laughs> but the Bible says, he says, my spirit went with you there. You went with my anointing there. But what you did there, my spirit doesn't want that. And what happened? He left the presence of Elisha with leprosy, then double anointing. He was looking at the issue of what? Delay. I want to get money now. I want to get money. I want to get money now. I want to get married now. Today, let's live about delay. It's very good. People must leave you because of delay. Thank God. People must fight you and say, God is not doing anything. Thank God. People must reject you. You must fail. Rejection is failure. Fail in marriage. Fail from friends. Fail in whatever. You must love it. It has happened for the glory of God. I've told you that if someone divorces you here, God will give you the better person. Keep watching Charis TV.